Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with Christmas in December of all things. Coming to you on the, it's a hop that comes to you on the 25th of every month. And this month is the real day. And I'm combining it with um, my Scrap Backwards weekly post because everything I'm using is basically in my Scrap Backwards kit. And what I am using is this little tray of uh, fussy cut printables from the um, Fe Feeling Festive collection at scrap -a sketch And I have taken some of the papers and die cut some images. And so I'm just gonna build a wreath. And I've got a 10-year-old photo of after, and, and I, I love the photo. I had never seen it before. We had bought uh, Katie this kind of trundle bed where the, this bed kind of slid underneath so she could have friends over. And in this case, she, her brother is, is there. And we had painted this mural of these buildings on on this wall and on this wall was what we called katie bug beach and we had a um a beach scene and all the kids kind of helped paint the sand and the water and the sky and then uh john and i did uh different murals and and it was kind of all set up for the ultimate bedroom for Katie Bug at that time. <laughs> so 10 years ago. So anyway, that's going to be the photo. And then I have cut the title, die cut the title out of uh, one of the uh, papers. So let's draw the circle that's going to be the wreath. I'm just going to kind of use this. Um, roll of tape and kind of do that and we're gonna get started building this up. I think I want the photo to go here and the title to go down here. Let me see if I can get all of those bits and pieces. The <laughs> Let's see, that says Mary, and then I've got a C for Christmas. Okay, let's see. And I wanted to maybe work this... Um, this lantern into the deal. Well, I think I'm gonna put the lantern here and maybe do some greenery and let's say a pretty red bow. Let's see if I can find, I think I see a red one in here. Oh, here's a red and yellow one. So I think I'll do that. And what I'm trying to do is kind of see if these colors work together because I've got the blue frame around the photo. I guess I should put Mary before Christmas or it could be Christmas Mary, who knows. Okay, well, what I need, I'm gonna need is some something to cover that line. So I'm just gonna commit. Um, I may as well, that's the best way I know how to do all this stuff. I thought that was a flying bug, but it's actually a piece of silver um, gilding flakes. And oh my God, I hate those things. I, I had a, I think I'm going to get rid of them. Okay, so I'm putting this here. Uh, 
And let me put this, I should have gotten some yellow vellum. I, I think I may have used all of my yellow vellum, so I think I'd have been just frustrated if I'd looked for it. <laughs> um, it's okay if the white shows through. Lord knows there's going to be a lot of stuff on this page that is not white. And so this will be fine. I'm going to raise it up so there's a little shadowing. I'm going to put it even with the bottom of the photo because I'm going to have some things going around there. And now I'm going to use some more foam. Place that right there. And I'll just do this right there. And okay. Now I'll wait on the title until I get what I'm going to put here. Now, what I thought I'd do is kind of take some of the what I'm going to call the primary images, which would be the ornaments, and I'll put them on foam and kind of space them around And then I'll fit greenery and bows and other Okay, and now let me get another one. I'm gonna go for a fairly big, uh, differently shaped red one. And I'll kind of do it right here. I love that red. And let's go for a purple one here. And I may do what I have been doing, which I have loved, and that's using, um, let's see, I want a yellow one next, but I want one that's different. Well, no, let's go for a green one right here. That's a shape I've already used, so let's go with this shape right here and I forget what I was saying oh I have been using bows with the ornaments and I've really liked how that looked I don't think I have any blue but that would be the next color I do oh yes I do and it's kind of cute. I use it right there. And then I have a small little red one that might go right there, or I have a larger red one that's kind of like this purple and it's not evenly right across it. I also have this purple one. I'm kind of liking the purple. I 
You knew I was going to say that, of course. And let's put it right there. Now, let's look for bows. I could do a green one on some ornament that has some There's that. There's this gold one. I could color match the bows. Let's just kind of do them as we see them. There. And I've got this purple that could go there. I'm kind of Mixing them up. I don't really want that much of that one covered. I'll do that one. And then what are we going to use there? We'll go with this red one. <laughs> Those are cute. Okay. And I'm just going to glue them. And there is a 40% uh, discount coupon, or I forget the code. I will look it up and I will have it in my description box and on the when I post these on social media. Let me look for a larger green one because that's a, well, actually, let me look for a large, larger blue one because that's blue on that okay that one's not on yet I forgot where I started I think they're all <laughs> they're all down okay now now I'm going to do stars and hearts and I'm going to kind of lay the stars flat down because they have um, tips that I can kind of curl up and we'll see how all this works out. I'm gonna kind of do them this way and that, all different orientations, I guess. Um, there and let's see, do I have, okay, I have a gold one that would be nice right there. And this little purple one. And kind of go there. Okay, now I'm going to see about using hearts of different sizes. We've got, for instance, a pretty big area right here where a heart can go, but I want to raise the hearts up on foam. So I didn't raise the, the stars.
do that right there. <laughs> I'm trying to get it where it's a little bit under here and a little bit under there. There, okay. And now I'm gonna use this little blue one. I'm hoping I'm not messing with the title too much here. And this smaller blue one should fit in the space right here. And let's see what else we want to do. There's a bright Let me kind of get these separated out. There's a pretty blue checked one here. And it's fairly large. I can put it there and then I'll need something here. And I'm thinking a smaller star might go nicely there, like, for instance, this little green one. So we'll fill in that spot with another star that will kind of overlap that one. Okay, so now I'm going to put my overlapping hearts up here. And I think I might do, I'll do this pretty red one right there, and then I'll do the purple kind of on foam, overlapping it. And I need some more foam. I like how it's it's shaping up. I, I really like how that looks. I knew it would look great and I filtered this photo to have a lot of the same colors in it. Okay, so here's the purple one. And it's gonna go right there. It looks like I could go with another star right here. Or no, I, I have room for a heart. What color hearts do I have? Um, I have this green heart, which look like, looks like it would work. And I'll let it overlap that. And now I need a really small heart. So I'm going to go with this little green one. And then I'm done, I think, with stars and hearts. Um, I'm going to kind of scooch that underneath there like so. Okay, so let's put all the stars and hearts away. There's still some pretty ones left. <laughs> and do I still have my title? <laughs> so far, I think I do. And I think I can probably put it on now because I need to know where it is in order to know where to put the greenery, which is what's going to come next. Okay, so... I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here, and I'm going to let the letters kind of uh, curl up. I think that's the beauty of a script die, is you get a lot of curl and curve.
and so it'll stick in some places and curl up and around in others. And there'll be a little bit of glue showing in others. <laughs> okay, so the C, do I want it? I, I think I want it right under and I'm going to put the this first so that I get the the first letter in the right place. This kind of needs to be spaced right. And I'm going to curl it down. Okay, perfect. And then now I know exactly where to put the C. I say that and watch me put it in, in the wrong place. Okay. I think we're good there. Now, I want to add in, I've used um, Feeling Festive uh, embellishments as well as paper, but I have actually cut some greenery, I guess a couple of pieces from, um, I think this is, uh, Adventure Trail with the arrows. I think I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So I, I think I want all the greenery pointed out, but some of it is going to be kind of large. And so I want I want a balance, I guess. Um, and I'm just going to kind of place it around. Let me do this. I could even double up on it. I don't want it to stick out like ears, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, maybe I'll bring the big pieces down here in order to kind of highlight the title. And then I'll work them up, kind of going this way. And then I'll add in these bits kind of tucked in around different areas. I'm gonna do this there, and then this let's just see how this works. I'm gonna cut this off, put a little glue here, kind of tuck it as far under 
as I can get it. And then I'll kind of tuck that in there like so. This isn't tucking in under, it's hitting the How about, well, you know what? I'm just going to lift up this part and let it curl down from there. I would have preferred it kind of right in between where that star and that heart were, but that's not how it wanted to go. It was doing its own thing. That's kind of cute there. <laughs> this one's already inserted itself without any glue. I love that that set of dies, and I've showed you this before, it's cottage cuts. It, it's all one die, but it cuts all those different shapes, and it has some arching left and some arching right, and it has two with these little tendrils. No two are alike, so they, you know, they really... Are nice on a on a page. I like, in fact, sometimes when I, without even a page in mind, if I have some white cardstock um, pieces or even uh, pieces of, um, let me cut that off even pieces of photo paper that are too small to go in my um, printer. I'll do, um, I'll cut white ones, white greenery, <laughs> if you will. Okay, that's good, and let me just, it's a tiny detail, but I kind of want the green over top of the red, and I'll make the red kind of curve down a bit. Okay, and I think we're done, um, except that I thought maybe some of these small blue, small flower, small stars, could maybe help balance in some areas. Let me see how that works. I don't have many, but there's like a little bit of red that could be used right there. And let's see. I'm kind of wanting to go. I've got another red star here, which I could kind of curl up a bit and put right here. And I have this little tiny blue one that I'm determined to use somewhere. So right here might not be bad. 
and I have a little gingerbread star. There's no, there's no other gingerbread pieces on here, but it won't hurt, and it certainly goes with the theme, and that's kind of helping sort of round out and balance the shape. And I'm going to look in... I like building kind of little clusters up top of photos. This may be too big, but it seems like I thought there was a present in here somewhere. Let me see. I kind of like that. But I'm more thinking... Ah, uh, here we go. There's this that says, Dear Santa, and then this. Oh, I know what. And then a, I'm going to do a quick um, fussy cut of... this light string and I think that would go nicely on top of that photo on top of the cluster that I've already started there now I need to go in this way I had so much fun cutting this for that other, it was a, a, a creative team page that where we all used the same sketch and all used the same collection of printables and yet the pages came out so different. And I fussy cut a million of these I don't know how this one is going to look, but we'll, we'll soon find out. And while I'm doing this, I want to take this opportunity to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday Season, whatever holiday you celebrate. And... I will also let you know that I had a <laughs> an appointment with my electrophysiologist today, a follow-up to the surgical procedure that I had last week. And it looks like uh, I am going to be written off in his books as a chronic, I have chronic AFib. I'm not going to get out of AFib. The Cardioversion didn't do it, and, and it's highly unlikely that an ablation would do it. So I'll stay in it until I have symptoms. And when I have symptoms, uh, then they'll look at maybe doing a, giving me a pacemaker. So how about... I did something like that. Let's put a little bit of um, foam on the envelope. This photo was taken um, December. 22nd of 
exactly you know, 10 years ago today, um, I had rushed to get the, um, get the murals painted and all the other things. We had a lot of furniture and stuff to put together. And because the kids came home, uh, James went to pick them up from their moms in Kentucky. Um, this is before they were living here. He, they came home on the 20th. And so we kind of rushed with that. And then we still had all the other Christmassy stuff to do. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off and then I can kind of tuck this down right there and let it kind of come off like that. And I'll just let it I'll let this end go under there and this end can go under this bow. I'll put a little bit of glue there to hold it. And where did my tweezers go? I have, you probably see them, but I don't. I do need them though to pick up. Oh, I know what I did. I took them over to the die cutting area so that I could scrape the uh, die cuts off of the magic mat. I don't know how many of you use magic mats. They're supposed to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I keep trying and I'm not seeing it yet. But it's the mat I have, so it's the mat I, I'm using. Now, I, I kind of thought I wanted to use this, but I don't, and I'm not going to, and I don't know where, there's my pen. I think I'm done. I will probably write some journaling that includes, oops, a, uh, this guy didn't stick. Let's see. There's glue there, so it will stick. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much, and Merry Christmas to you all. I will write the, um, the date. I'm going to write, you know, waiting for Santa. Twelve, twenty-two, thirteen, and that's the extent of the journaling that I'm going to do here. I thank you for watching, and bye.